Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I wanted to go ahead and start off this Christmas weekend vlog. I'm about to start making some soup. It's a little bit after 3.30. I'm gonna make like a really late lunch, early dinner, chicken noodle soup. I'm still kind of recovering from being sick last weekend and I was sick through the work week. I finally just felt better yesterday <laughs> on Friday and it was a really busy work week, which I didn't, I kind of knew it was gonna happen, but I kind of also didn't expect it to be as busy as it was because it was the week of Christmas or is the week of Christmas. Yeah, it was a lot just being sick and having a bunch of brain fog, but made it through. I'm about to make some soup and sit on the couch and edit for the rest of the day. I just ran to Publix and got the last few things that I need for the soup and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the soup. Wanted to start off the vlog, welcome back. These are all the ingredients that I got for the soup. I feel like chicken noodle soup is pretty standard, but I'm using bone broth instead of just regular chicken broth. A rotisserie chicken and I'm using the Bonza chickpea pasta. And we're gonna cook it in my Le Creuset Dutch oven. And we're gonna have this for the next couple of days. I'll be able to eat it today and then tomorrow for lunch before I go to my dad's for Christmas Eve. And then um, I can also have it, we're gonna do like a Christmas day, like early dinner. So I can have this on Christmas day night when I come back home. So I'm gonna get to cooking. Well, I need to rinse everything, all the veggies, cut everything up and get everything prepped. And I need to cut this up as well. So I'm really excited, I'm so hungry. So I'm excited to make like a homemade chicken noodle soup. It cures literally everything and I'm on the tail end of the sickness and I'm still kind of congested and coughing so I'm hoping this just kind of knocks it out. Okay, just finished the soup. It is so yummy. I'm so excited to eat this. And then I have this huge pot of leftover soup for the next couple of days. So I'm really excited. It's so yummy and delicious. And it has that added factor of the bone broth. So it makes it extra, extra nutritious. I'm gonna eat this and then get to editing some videos. Alex Earl little light from Amazon for myself and I just have it pinned on my camera because it's kind of rainy and overcast outside and I just want to see how how this looks with the light I've just seen it for so long and decided to purchase it but it's the last day of the advent calendar wanted to open it up I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve it doesn't even feel like the holidays to me I'm also just like a little bit down because Christian and I are not spending Christmas together this year and we've actually never spent a Christmas together and this is our sixth Christmas together I feel like that's kind of crazy but Christian's facetiming me right now um, I actually made the decision to stay in town and Christian and I will spend next Christmas together. Um, sorry, I needed some water. But the main reason is, and without getting like into like too long of a story and I mean obviously I don't even need to share this on the internet, but back in October my dad had like a minor stroke and um, never talked about it, never shared it. And that is just part of the main reason why I decided to stay 
home for Christmas um, and I will probably go down to South Florida with Christian's family next year that's also another thing it's so hard at this point in life and no one talks about this um, where you have to grow up and yes I'm 28 but there's nothing like spending the holidays with your family and it's hard because Christian's my family too and my family's here and I just feel like I'm split in two parts and I wish I could duplicate myself and be in both spots um, but it's just not the case so I decided to stay back just because when that happened back in October I just felt like my world kind of shook up a little bit and um, my dad's 81 and it's just really terrifying to think about stuff like that and I just think it hits me a little bit harder because I already know the pain of losing a parent and it, it would just it would just be so devastating if something were to happen so I just made the decision to stay in town I'm sorry for making this part of the vlog kind of like sad and whatever but staying here in town for Christmas and I'm just sad because I really wish I could be with Christian too but He's with his family that he doesn't get to see that often and I'm very happy for him that he gets to be with them but I also selfishly wish we were together. So anyways, that is why I'm in town, why Christian and I aren't spending Christmas together and I just felt like for me personally this was the best decision to make. Um, my dad's fine and healthy and everything like that but just that part was just a little bit scary and unexpected and yeah anyways on a brighter note it's Christmas Eve I'm so thankful um, to be spending it with my family this year and we're going out to dinner we always celebrate Christmas Eve together we always go out to dinner or like sometimes we have stayed in and had at my dad's house which is my childhood home and I'll be packing a bag and I'm gonna stay the night at my dad's house I'm so lucky that the house that my dad lives in now it's our family home that I have woken up every single Christmas morning for the past this will be my 28th year there it will probably be the last consecutive year so I don't know growing up is just hard and letting go of your childhood is hard and yeah I don't know why I'm turning it into this whole thing but anyways let's open up the last day of this advent calendar i got a lot of perfumes this past week which i have loved i love getting little perfumes it makes it really fun oh is this a full-size product it's not a full size i thought it was like some type of oil of some sort but it is a body wash esker beneficial body care i love luxurious body washes that is the last day of the advent calendar I'm gonna pack a bag I'm gonna go over to my dad's house and I'm gonna FaceTime Christian he just FaceTimed me and I'm gonna call him back I've just been hanging out today I actually haven't been feeling too well just kind of run down from this past work week honestly and um, I'm going to get blood work next Saturday actually I was gonna kind of plan to do it during the work week but I don't like getting my blood drawn I really don't I hate it actually and it's crazy because on Accutane, I used to have to go and get my blood drawn every single month and I did that for seven months. And it's been like a couple of years since Accutane and I'm just kind of scared about it. So I have to go do that next Saturday. But I met with a doctor um, this past week and we're just gonna do some blood tests and get to the bottom of just some things on why I kind of feel like really exhausted all the time and run down and yeah i just know it's not normal and i'm tired of pretending like i feel okay all the time and i just don't like it's not normal like i it just yeah so i just want to get to the bottom of why i just don't feel 100 percent every day and i know there's a reason so hopefully something shows up on the blood tests and maybe it's some type of vitamin deficiency of some sort or whatever and we can get to the bottom of it and figure out what i need to do moving forward so I'm really excited but nervous and then my doctor's appointment to go over the blood test isn't until January 10th but at least we'll get the blood work out of the way and go into the new year knowing that I just 
with the end of the year, the new year, here is your reminder. Schedule the doctor's appointment, schedule the blood work, sketch if you're a female, schedule the OBGYN. I just did my annual, but it's a little bit easier for me to get that annual appointment in because I am on birth control, so I have to go every single year, but I know a lot of people aren't on birth control, so it can easily fall through the cracks. So just schedule your OBGYN appointment, make sure everything's in check, schedule your like annual primary care doctor, get the blood work done, make sure everything's okay, it's not worth like not feeling well. So here's your reminder to schedule your doctor's visits, go into 2024 with a clear mind knowing that you're like healthy and good to go. So I'm gonna pack a bag and we're gonna head to, I don't know why I just put this back in here. We're gonna head to my dad's house and we have dinner reservations at um, six o'clock and it's four. Okay, I'm packing my little bag to stay that in at my dad's and I'm bringing of course some Christmas PJs. These are from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I have them in both the red and white striped and the green and white striped. I got the red and white striped last year and then this year I got the green and white striped. I think it's fun to kind of like add a PJ set each year to like your holiday PJ set collection. I only have two holiday PJ set <laughs> two in my collection but yeah I just think it's like a fun way. It gets me excited for the holidays. I don't know. It's just like super it's super fun to have something like this. So I'm gonna sleep in these tonight and wake up on Christmas morning in those. And then I'm packing an outfit for tomorrow because we're doing Christmas with family, which we never really do anything on Christmas day. So I'm actually really excited to be with family on Christmas. But so this whole past week for the advent calendar is gonna get all weird. I got a bunch of different perfumes. I also got a shampoo, which is the worst shampoo I've ever tried in my entire life. I used it on Tuesday and um, I washed my hair and I thought it's because I like did like a really heavy hair mask in the shower and I thought it was because I didn't like scrub the hair mask out of my hair enough. So literally, my hair just didn't feel like it felt like it had like products still left in it. And I used it again on Friday before I went out for um, just like a little bit to meet up with Maya and go to like a Christmas bar and things like that. I used it and it, it literally just feels like the shampoo stays in your hair. It was like a heavy moisturizing shampoo and I literally hated it. And I almost still feel like I'm still, I used a clarifying shampoo that is from way in the shower that I picked up to like help get the product out and just like help with um, Just every once in a while. I don't recommend a clear clarifying shampoo all the time But just like every once in a while to just get like all the dry shampoo the oils um, the dirt just things like that off of your hair and I used it and washed my hair twice and it still feels like in some parts of My hair there's that shampoo. So I can't wait to wash my hair again but um, it's the worst shampoo I've ever tried in my life. I've never had a shampoo like just sit on my hair. Just looked like my hair was greasy still and I washed my hair, it was so strange. But I got a bunch of, oh wait, this is not from this week. This was from, this is the one that I opened up over the weekend. But I got a bunch of different perfumes this week that smell so good. This one is Lolia. So good. I want to buy the big one. I got an amber perfume, which I was just talking about earlier in December when I opened up a vanilla perfume that it would be really good to mix it with amber. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then I got this Nest Madagascar vanilla. And this one, I literally was shocked when I opened it because I just saw a TikTok a couple days before I, um, it was actually last weekend, I think it was last Sunday, when I was going to pick up my Sephora pickup order, I was watching TikTok, and this girl was talking about the Fleur Missing Person perfume, and I almost thought about adding it to my, tic my TikTok, my Sephora pickup order, and I was like, no, 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 like, just don't add it. You don't even know what it smells like. Like, you're going just based off of someone telling you, like, hey, you need this perfume. It smells really good. But how she was describing it, she was like, it smells like the person that you miss the most. It smells like home, like friendly, familiar. It just smells delicious. So I almost, almost added it to my cart. And then, like, 
three days later i opened it in the advent calendar box so it's the fleur missing person perfume and it smells so good it's like a natural perfume too which i know people are kind of into finding like a natural perfume that you like even in that last is also a really good thing so this lasts all day it smells so good like fresh and clean and familiar and i even loved layering it with this other perfume lolia but it just smells so good and i just thought it was so funny how i almost literally purchased it from sephora and then i opened it in the advent calendar i did not even know that this would even be in there it was just so funny i was like no no, no like don't need it like whatever i have my skincare bag I'm gonna bring dry shampoo. I have also kind of been really liking this dry shampoo and I hate that I like it because it's expensive, but I really have been actually liking that dry shampoo that I got last weekend and I shared. It's the Vegamore Grow Dry Shampoo. I really have been liking it. Skincare, makeup bag, and this should be it. I need like shoes for tomorrow and then my hot tools. Yeah, I'm going to finish packing and then I'm going to head to my dad's house. Three faces that all look alike. Oh, um, yeah. are we related or what? <laughs> <laughs> home from being with family all day i was at my older brother and sister-in-law's house i guess half brother and basically like my nieces and nephews and family today so i didn't vlog at all today except for this morning woke up at my dad's house and it's just so crazy that i have woken up in that home for the past 28 years consecutively i just feel so lucky to say that very privileged and yeah, it's kind of sad that I probably won't be waking up there next year. So was just soaking in all of the moments and it was just such a great Christmas, um, great Christmas Eve with family, great Christmas day. We watched some Christmas movies this morning, had breakfast together and then went over to my brother and sister's house and spent the day there and then just got back home and I'm unpacking all of my stuff and I'm gonna start some laundry. I think I'm gonna clean the floors and wipe off all the counters and kind of like reset for the week. It's six o'clock, so I'm gonna try and get everything done in an hour and then shower, I wanna clean my makeup brushes and things like that. <laughs> 